let us solve this problem. This is dual op amp instrumentation of amplifier. Okay, we already have one amplifier which has a three op amp. Now this is the here also we can uh, amplify the difference using uh, two op amp. Okay, so this V is not given. Uh, you need to find what is V not here. Okay, so this type of questions are very really easy if you carefully analyze the circuit. Okay. So this is the potential V naught. This is this is given V naught. So automatically this is also V naught. This is also V naught. Okay. And this is V one. This is V one. Automatically this is also V one. Now you know this V one. This node you know. This node you know. This voltage you know. You don't know this voltage. So say this is V A. Okay. Now you can see if some current is flowing here, 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 that will be same because no current is going here. If some current is coming from here, here no one going, some current is coming from here, and the some current is going here, of course here is some current is coming, we don't know that current. So let us say this is I0, but we don't require this one. I say this current is I, this current is I, and say this current is I1. Now, if I know this current, I can immediately know what is VA. So this is the ground and this is VA. So my VA will be nothing. My VA, this will be, tell me what is VA? If I know the current, I, I into R1 plus R2, this drop plus this drop. How can you find I? I, I can find like this, this I don't know. So I is what? I is your V1 upon R2. So I got now VA. So my VA become now V1 upon R2, R1 plus R2. Okay. So you know now this VA. Now you want to find V0. Okay. Now what I, what I can do? I can apply this current is coming I1 suppose. Here no current can go, cannot go current here. So this current will come here. So I can write V naught minus V2 upon R2. And this current is equal to V2 minus VA upon R1. And V A already we have calculated. So your V naught will come in terms of V2 and V1. That's that's what I, I want. Okay. Because my inputs are V1, V2 in this term only. I want to find my output. So my output will be V naught R2 equal to V2 R2 plus V2 R1 minus VA upon R1. Now I want to find V naught. So V naught R2 is nothing. You take V2 common and this become R1 plus R2 and R1 plus R2. Here it is coming. Here I have to put the value of VA. Okay. What is the value of VA? Tell me. VA value is V1, R1 plus R2. And this is R1, R2, R1, R2. Okay. This becomes simple now. R2 cancelled out. Now R1 plus R2, you can take common. So V naught. If you take R1 plus R2 upon R1 common, this will give you V2 minus V1. And your V0 will come V2 minus V1. And this is your 1 plus R2 upon R1. This is your answer. Is this question clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Clear. So I'll give many more questions because open you have to practice. Okay. So whatever you learn, you have to solidify. Because if you are putting effort, then 
that problem topic at least you should do in exam. Okay. So and because open is important topic, every exam question is coming. There are four or five exams, and every exam questions are coming. So this is a very important topic. Now yesterday we were doing one problem. We'll complete that one and then we will uh, go to the next topic. Yesterday I gave you this problem. Minus plus. Here was V input. And here there was circuit. Plus minus 3 volt. Okay. Now I told this is your V plus. Okay, you can say it's V plus or you can say V reference. Okay, at which you compare this one. So yesterday I V what we we write this V input. V. This is not V input. Okay. So wherever I got V input yesterday, you can just write V plus. Okay, but this one it was a uh, slip of pen in hurry mistake. But but there is no issue at the end. We have written V plus. But while writing here this V input, we have written V input here. That is correct. In the last question, okay, and this was five kilo. Now the biasing was given plus fifteen to minus fifteen volt. Now your V naught can be plus fifteen or minus fifteen volt. Okay, if you take plus fifteen, then here output was coming B plus one for for V put equals to plus 15 volt saturation. I started to calculate it. My V plus was coming 7 volt and for V naught equals to minus 15 volt if I take, then my V plus was coming how much? Tell me. Minus 3 volt yesterday we have seen and these are the limit. This is your VHT and this is VLT. Okay. Now if I take this is a 15 volt plus 15 volt, I am getting here 7 volt. And here, suppose if I am giving a wave which is 10 volt to minus 10 volt, okay. So if this becomes greater than 7, then this minus will become greater than this one, then the output will go to negative. We start with the positive value, but and this is 7. Now if you compare this one. If this value becomes greater than this one, this become higher, difference become negative. So your output will come how if this is your so these are the limits. This is my 10 volt. This is my 7 volt reference voltage. Okay. You can call it this is a reference voltage. And here you have minus 3 volt. Okay. So whenever your voltage is less than 7 volt and in between two ranges okay then your output is high your output is high so whenever you go across this one this part so this part your output will become negative this part to up to here because whenever you up to here your output is so whenever initially you have voltage plus and up to here it is plus and then if you go up I got negative and then it remains negative until I come here and when it comes here again I go positive whenever here is minus 3 volt so suppose now minus 3 volt and now compare with this one, if it is go to minus 4, then minus 3 minus 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 4 will be plus. Okay, the difference will become plus and it will go automatically pause, it will go to higher state. So that's I'm finishing here. That's it. That's it. Okay, if you understand earlier, then good. So I repeated one minute one time more. Okay, so up to here, you come down. And then it will keep on moving, and here it will go up. Here it goes. So this is your output output wave only. Clear? 
So this was your inverting. If it is a if it is a non-inverting input, we will voltage here. You will come minus, V minus will come here. Then again, you have to uh, do the uh, same way. You have to compare. Okay, and you can solve that one. Uh, that one also. So I am stopping here. This is topic I have finished. I am starting new topic. Is this point clear now, everyone? To everyone. Let us start now. The next topic is now. We want to do filter, okay? And before we do filter, let us understand what is decibel. Okay. So decibel is basically. Decibel decibel is a logarithmic unit. Logarithmic unit. Okay. What do you mean by uh, logarithmic unit? For example, if I have a gain, some value, okay, some gain value, positive value, gain value. Okay, now the gain I want to write. In a decibel. So the formula is 20 log 10 A. Okay, whatever gain is coming, if you take log of that gain, that value will come in decibel. That's a logarithmic unit. For example, say if I have a circuit, say this is my circuit, say minus plus. Okay, this is 10, 10 kilo. Okay, this is 1 kilo. And here, this is my V input. And this is ground. Now, if I calculate my gain for this circuit, so gain for this circuit will be V0 upon V input, that is minus RF upon R1. Okay. That will be my gain. And the gain will be now minus 10 kilo ohm. And R1 is your 1 kilo ohm. So the gain become minus 10. Okay. Now this gain, if I want to write, this is the number I will write in the decibel. So what you do, you take positive value of gain, or how much is gain in the magnitude of gain, 10. And you want to write a gain in the decibel. So that will be your 20 log 10 and the value is 10. So log 10 is 1. So the value become 20 dB. So the gain of the circuit is 20 dB. So sometimes question, they will ask, they will give value the dB. So that means at that time you take log. Okay. Now let us start new topic. So, hmm. sir, 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 बहुत बार ये format ten log of जो भी gain होता है वो होता है. Electronics में electronics में तो ऐसे divide करते हैं, तो इसी करते हैं. Okay sir. ठीक है. So, now we are starting your filters. filter yet. So filter is a circuit designed designed to pass designed to pass signal signal with Certain frequencies, certain range of frequency or certain frequencies, and reject, reject or block others. Okay, so you want to pass some frequencies 
okay and others you want to block okay that is the use of filter now filter also two type we can say filters also two type one is called passive filter and one is your active filter okay so first we have to study active filter the filter which gives you which filters with a with amplification that is my active filter okay when i use op-amp those filter involving op-amp will be active filter in general if you use only rc rcl circuit that will be a passive filters okay so now we'll start with the, the passive filter and understand what is a passive passive filter so filters of many kind first is your low pass filter low pass filter means it should pass low frequencies but stop high frequencies okay so if i this is my a signal input as a function of time is coming and if i say if i put a capacitor here okay and if i start measuring frequency here we output here so whenever the AC source, time dependent source, okay, this is a capacitor, okay, capacitor reactance is XC, which is equal to 1 upon J omega C, okay, so you have to replace this by 1 by J omega C, is 1 J omega C. Now, if you want to find the voltage, so voltage will be what, okay, these two are series, total voltage is V input coming the time with this one, and resistance is R, and you have to write the uh, impedance of capacitor, which is 1 upon J omega C. Okay, and into I am taking voltage here, so this is 1 by J omega C. And now if you want to write gain, which is function of omega here, V naught by V input, that will come out if I take this common, so 1 plus 1 plus J omega rc this will cancel out okay correct huh? but if i take this one here and this cancel so this is this is my gain okay this is my expression for gain if i write now omega equals to zero okay low frequency if i write omega equals to zero so my gain at omega equal to zero frequency is one Okay, and if I write omega equals to infinite, so my A omega infinite will be how much? Zero. So, because here is the capacitor, if, if you do high frequency, this becomes zero, and infinite becomes zero, this becomes short. At higher frequencies, as you keep increasing frequency slowly, slowly for DC it is open. So, whatever voltage you apply, that voltage will come here. Okay, so V not equal to V input, there is no loss. So, you got the maximum value of gain is 1. But as you keep on increasing the frequency slowly, slowly, its resistance will its, its, its impedance will decrease, and in fine frequency, this will come short circuit, and high frequency short circuit will get 0, 0 output. Okay, so that means at for, for higher frequency, you won't get any gain. You will, you will get gain will be zero by frequency. That's why it is called low pass filter. So low pass filter means if you have this one and if you measure a omega as a function of frequency, so initially you have a very high gain. Say gain is one here, particular scale. Okay, this is the one circuit. So here it is a one, and slowly, slowly it is decreases and it is goes to zero. So this is your actual graph, practical, practical, this is a practical graph of a filter, okay? And this frequency, this frequency at which gain remains 0 0.707 of, of original or 1 by root 2 of original value, this frequency is called the cutoff frequency of filter. Okay, if you put on omega FC, generally it is FC, 
If you write omega, if you write omega, then it will be omega c. Now, ideal, ideal filter. This is the ideal filter. Ideal filter. What it will do? It will it will give you up to this frequency. It will give you constant gain. But this also you can assume constant because the drop is very less. And if you take longer and longer log log logger term, this uh, this portion will come come. To, if you take log but log in omega of log and graph, this portion will become almost almost straight. Okay. So uh, and then and then then after that this frequency there will be sharp 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 loss. Okay. So this is the ideal. So this is called cut off frequency filter. So this is very important frequency. You you have to find cut off frequency. For each the cutoff frequency means you have to define a frequency after which the decay will be fast. Okay, so before that frequency, you can assume that the gain is almost constant. So, so same graph. If I plot, if I say same value, same graph. I, if I plot in decibel, if I take a omega in decibel, that is the log scale, and here is here also I take log scale. Then this graph will come out like this, a straight line. Okay, this is almost constant, and then this straight line, and this will be your cutoff frequency. Okay. So generally, the graphs are plotted like this in log log scale, and this become high frequency becomes zero. So this is a low pass filter. Similarly. You can have a high pass filter also. So let us put down high pass filter. So this 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 frequency will not go. Okay, this 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 frequency part is not coming here. Now let us go with high pass filter. Okay, so high pass filter, you will have just you have to put here capacitor, and here you put resistance, and you take V naught here. This is one by J omega. Now again, if you apply V input. For higher frequency, this is short target, but low frequency for DC, it is, it is cut off. So here, here you, will, you won't get any voltage. So this, that's why it's called high pass filter. After certain frequency only, it will allow the output. Okay. So if I write the expression for V naught here, the expression of V naught will be you know, how much current V input, these two are in series, R plus 1 upon J omega C. And I have to take voltage here. I will take voltage here. And my gain A omega will be what? R1 plus J omega C R. And this J omega C will come here. Okay. And that you can write uh, like this also. This is also correct. If you write this as a 1 plus 1 upon J omega C R. So this is the expression for high pass filter. Earlier, what we have done? Earlier, we have done what was our expression earlier? Before that, we have done. My expression was one plus j omega c r. This was my expression last for low pass. Okay, and this expression also can be written as one upon one plus j omega is there. I can instead of CR, I can write omega C. Okay, so this you can correct that with there. Okay, and this also you can write JF upon FC. Now, if you want to calculate the magnitude, magnitude of this one, what will become? A omega will be 1 upon under root. This is a complex number. This will be F upon FC square. Okay, now at F equal to when your frequency is F FC, this become gain become 1 by root 2. Okay, 
This, this is the magnitude is what? Gain become 1 by root 2 of original value is 1. So that is the cutoff frequency definition, a frequency at which gain become the uh, 1 by root 2 of original value or DC gain. That is called a cutoff frequency. So here you will see your frequencies, uh, your cutoff frequencies coming down. This is this is the top. This is a low pass filter. If you put infinite, you put infinite here, the gain becomes zero. That was low pass filter. And here it will come opposite. Okay. So this is your gain expression. So now, and this also expression also you can write like this one, one plus j is here. You can put you can multiply by this j. So this becomes minus j. And this is CR. So you can write omega C upon omega. Okay. Omega C upon omega. Also, you can write this as a 1 minus J F C by F. So this type of expression, whenever it comes in the in the denominator, this here denominator. So you can identify when it is a high pass filter or low pass filter. Now this is a high pass filter because if you put F equal to infinity, okay. Either omega or f is infinity, then you're getting gain equals to one. And if you put f equal to omega, omega or f equal to zero here, then your gain is zero. Okay. So higher frequency you get you will get higher means depend on here. And that omega equal to omega c one by one, your gain will be. 1 by root 2 of this 1, what you're getting at the infinite value. So, if I plot this graph, this graph will come out A omega versus frequency. Okay. This graph will be initially, there will be no thing, nothing thing. And then slowly, slowly it will increase. And in finite, it will become 1. It will approach 1. And here the frequency is FC or omega C, where gain is 0 0.707. 1 by root 2 of infinite or DC, sometimes we call it DC and this is a DC gain, constant gain. Now. So this value is 1 by root 2 is this one. So this is a frequency. So this is your uh, high bar filter. And in general, for ideal case, this will come. For ideal case, this will come like this. So this is the practical and this is the ideal. So generally we represent this by, by high pass filter, we represent by this one, okay? Low pass filter like this and high pass filter like this. Is this part clear to everyone? Shall I go to the next filter? Yes, sir. The next filter is band pass filter. Next filter is band pass filter. Okay, so band pass filter means it will allow only a band of the frequency. Okay, lower than that will not pass, higher than that will not pass. Okay, that is called band pass filter. So, if you want to make a band pass filter, okay, so how do you make band pass filter? So, you can make a band pass filter using Either you make a low pass filter. Say so suppose I have gain. I have I have a coming frequency of all type frequencies are coming here. Okay. All type of frequencies are coming here. Okay. Now I want I want only some band to pass. So I'll pass this one by a high pass filter. High pass filter whose cutoff frequency is say omega one. So after passing this one, what will happen? My output will become by high pass means up to this frequency, this will this will go away. So you get only this kind of graph. Now I'll just continue. Okay. Now I pass this this one by a low pass filter. Low pass filter of frequency omega 2. Okay. 
So this is omega one will pass, and this is my omega two. This is a low pass filter. So below this one it will pass, higher it will stop. So finally, what you get, you will get a nice curve, a band between omega two, omega one, and omega two. So this is the one way you can make like this. Okay. Other way you can use again LCR circuit to make a filter. So let us make now using LCR filter. So I am erasing this one now. Now let us make using LCR circuit. So if you have this plus minus T, I can use a inductor here. I can use a capacitor here and I use a resistance here. C, okay, this L. Now, like I write xc equal to 1 by j omega c, similarly xl is j omega l. So, whenever you solve the circuit, you have to replace this by j omega l, okay? And you have to replace this by 1 upon j omega c. And now I am taking the output here. So, again, if I write the output, my output will be what current v input divided by R plus XL, okay. XL is what? XL is one of XL is J omega L, J omega L, okay. Plus one upon J omega C, okay. And this also can be done as a gain and into R into R. So A omega is what? V naught upon V input and this I can write R upon can keep R here. Okay. This I can write what let J common. This is omega L. You can multiply by J here and here. So this become minus J you take common. So this is J omega C. Okay. So like this you can write the uh, this expression. Okay. And now you can put the values and you can check what is happening. And uh, if you put higher and lower value, what will happen? Okay. So if I put here omega equals to zero. Okay, if I put omega equals to zero. So this omega will go here. Okay, this also can be written as a R. If I take omega here, this will become omega. Okay. Omega C, R omega C plus J, and this become omega square LC minus minus one. Okay, so this directly depend on the frequency here. Okay, directly depend on the frequency. So if I put omega equals to zero, my gain becomes zero. Okay. And if we put omega equal to infinite, then what will you tell me? If we put a one, omega equal to infinite, then if we put infinite here, this becomes zero. If I put infinite here, okay, again this becomes zero. So omega infinite also zero. So, so it's not passing the low frequency, higher frequency. So this type of filter will give you value graph like this. For low frequency also zero, for higher frequency also is zero. So this is your omega one, omega two. So it will only pass a band. Okay, it will pass only band. And ideal will be ideal if, if I you know draw ideal, this will be like this only. A omega frequency, this is ideal. It's the practical. And we know at resonance frequency, some frequency omega not equal to one upon LC, LC. 
resonance frequency your impedance part becomes zero so you you get maximum value gain okay so the mid point of this one will be say omega so near only resonance frequency even near the resonance frequency band will pass okay and this is omega zero so here only it will pass near for this will pass the filter and rest everything becomes zero so this is called your band pass filter now this is not a only graph a circuit there are a variety of circuits which by which you can achieve low, low pass high pass similarly this band pass but this is just the general idea i'm giving so this is your band pass filter similarly you have a band reject filter okay now how to make a band reject filter okay tell me how do they make a band reject filter Okay, now let us make a band reject filter. The last is band reject filters. So band reject filter, suppose you can make like this. You use a low pass filter. You use a high pass filter. And here you measure V naught. You give an input, which has all kind of frequency. Okay, you have all kind of frequencies are coming here. Okay, so now what will happen? You are coming. Your signal is like this. All frequencies are coming. Okay, and low pass filter will only pass the frequency low frequency. That means it will pass only up to this graph. Okay. Similarly, high pass filter will pass this kind of. It will not pass low pass. It will not pass. Okay. Now you can add there. So this is say this is say omega one. Say this is omega two, and if you add this one, so your graph will come how much like this, and then in between there are between two frequency omega one and omega two, no frequency, no gain or no no frequency pass. This is a this is a band reject. Okay, this band we are rejecting. That's why it's called band reject. This will be rejected. This is the band. This is the general band pass filter. Similar way, you can also make a high pass filter. Also, that we'll see later. Okay. So this is your band reject filter. Now I want to make the same filter using. Operational amplifier or uh, arc circuit. So you can use this V plus minus VIT. Okay. I can use one R here. I can use what I can use here. I can use here C and you can put L here. This is J omega L. This is one upon J omega C. This is R. You can measure V output here. So V output will be now what? Current V input total total impedance one upon one upon J omega C and plus J omega L into J omega L. Okay. So gain will become j omega l okay and this is r plus again i can write this as it i can take j common omega l minus here also i can multiply j is the minus so this become j omega c j omega c j we can common this is one by omega c 
Okay. Now again, you can see what happens for this type of graph. Okay. Tell me what will happen. If I take, if I write, now this also can be, you can represent this as a, say J, let me write here, I will divide by this one omega, J, let me here, L, and I write this is a omega square. See? Hmm. Can I write like this? Or no? How to write this? Special to have been explained. Yes, I can write. Huh? Lick the paper as it's only open. You can write it like this. No, no. Only have a little no, no, it's good. Cool. Sorry, you have to put uh, capacitor also here, otherwise, it will not come. You have to put capacitor also here. See, this is now J omega C. One by J omega C. You, you, so, so, this is correct. This is this you have to modify. This total is correct. R, okay, J omega L minus J omega C. This is correct. Okay. So, here you have to multiply, multiply by what? You have to multiply by uh, J. This is same. Excel uh, J omega L okay plus one upon J omega C. You have to multiply this one. Okay. And this I will turn like this. Similarly, I can write it here. This one also I can write. I can take J common and I can write this is omega L and minus one upon omega C. Omega C like this. Now, now if I take omega c common, I can add j, this will be omega square lc minus 1, omega c I am taking common here, lcm here, okay, omega square lc, similarly here I am taking omega c here, so this becomes r, r omega c plus j, and this is omega square lc minus 1, okay. Now you put zero. What happened? Tell me. If you put zero, if you put omega equals to zero, then this part becomes zero. You will left with a minus j here. This zero, this zero, minus j here. So you get a omega equals to what? Okay. Get omega equals to what? And if you put infinite, then what will come? If you put infinite. Tell me what happened if you put infinite. Kya hoga infinite karne se batao. Hmm. If I take infinite, so this same expression can be written in a different way. I can write, or you try to put infinite here, part become. If you put infinite here, this part becomes zero. But this this remaining na, this becomes zero. So let it let it write in different different form. So if I write a omega, okay, I write j, and if I take omega from common here, so that will be L minus 1 upon omega square c, okay. Similarly, if I take omega common here, so omega omega will cancel out, here I will remain R omega plus j, L minus, by minus 1 upon j, uh, 1 minus omega square c, okay. Now, if you put infinite, this term becomes zero, this term becomes zero, only JL and JL remaining, you again get one. Okay. So if you put omega equals to infinite, again you get A equals to one. Okay. So means your graph is like this, already I'm drawn. Okay, J, you're getting one. Then put and then for higher frequency, also you're getting one. Okay, in between. There will be two frequencies which will, it will pass. Okay, so that is called band reject filter. But here I am doing this passive filter using uh, RT circuit. But sometimes this also in as exam. But our purpose is to do this all filters using OPAM. Okay, so how to do this with OPAM? We have to do now. Okay, I'll take five minute break and we'll come back.
और आर बैक यस सर सो नाउ विल डू एक्टिव फिल्टर्स we are we are only filtering we are also amplifying okay that's why it's called active filters so first we'll do first order circuit okay first order no pass filter okay what is first order no pass filter you have to open okay this is We can do in two different mode, inverting and non-inverting mode. Okay. Now, say put plus here. It will be easy to understand. Minus here. Here, say this is R. So this is here R F. Here is V naught. This is grounded. And I want to pass a low pass filter. So I'll put a uh, low pass filter means. Here voltage should come, okay. So if I put a capacitor here and resistance here, so this resistance is R one, and I'm applying V input here, and this is grounded. This is V. Now I want to see how this uh, whether it is a high pass filter, low pass filter, or what is this circuit is doing that we will be able to see without solving. Also, we can do it that will tell later, okay. Now just by seeing that you can say whether it's high pass or low pass. So first, first of all, this is one by J omega C. Okay, and uh, this is a non-inverting amplifier. So output will be what? Output will be simply one plus R F upon R. Okay, if you are not going to put R one here, just whatever you want. Okay, one plus R F upon R, and here I put at B plus. And what is V plus? V plus you can find here in the circuit. V input just now we done total current, total resistance R plus one upon J omega C into one upon J omega C. So this will give me V input into this will give me one plus J omega C R J minus J minus cancel. So this is basically. My V plus is simply V input, okay, one plus J omega C R, okay. This is my V plus. Check करो सही की नहीं है, correct है? Now you want to write V not here, so V not will become. V not will become now one plus R F upon R okay into V input upon one plus J omega C R okay and gain V not upon V input gain become one plus R F upon R This is one plus J omega C R. Just now we identify the C. This one, but that is a high pass or low pass. Okay. Now if you put it infinite, this gain becomes zero. So this is the low pass, and this you can write one plus R F upon R, and here you can write one plus J omega, and instead of C R you can write omega C. Okay. And this also you can write one plus R F upon R. One plus J F upon F C, okay? Where F C is equal, F C is the cutoff frequency of this circuit, which is equal to one by omega C. Oh my God, one one by C R C R. You carefully see C or R. This is R one. Okay, you have to write carefully. R one is R one. This is R one. So this is R one. Okay, this this this. With the R, which is which is the C, that will come in front of the frequencies. F C is equal to two pi. This is omega C, and F C will be one upon two pi C R one. Cut off frequency of the circuit. Now, at if you put infinite here, infinite here, this becomes zero. If you put zero here, this is a constant gain. Okay. So if I put 
omega zero my gain at omega equals to zero i call it a zero will become what one plus rf upon r and if i put a omega equals to infinite my gain becomes zero Also, the expression. So you have to always find the expression of gain to identify which is the high pass filter or low pass filter. So this will be what this will be. I can write down this expression as a naught. If I say this a naught one plus j f upon f c. Okay. So this is the low pass filter. And cutoff frequency always you to find this cutoff frequency. Okay. Now this gain is a function of frequency. Which frequency it will change? Okay. Now we have to see how it will change. Okay. Let us find out that one. So up to here, up to here, everything is clear to to you. Now what about if, if frequency is, now gain is depend on frequency. Whatever frequency you will put. You will get the uh, on that frequency. You will get the gain. Okay. Now, if you want to find f equal to f c, what is the gain? What is the gain to f equal to f c? So, f equal to f c, your a f is a f is what a naught one plus j f c f c cancel. And if you want if you want the magnitude of this number a zero, this is a complex number one square plus one square. That is a a by root two. So the cutoff frequency is the frequency at which gain remains becomes a uh, or a uh, uh, one by root of original value or DC value. Now I want to see how this graph changes with the frequency that we calculated. Now you don't need to always if you exam they are asking what is just to identify whether the high pass or low pass filter that is very simple to identify. Okay. At least in the case of high pass and low pass, if you apply high frequency here, this becomes zero. That means V plus becomes zero. This becomes short circuit, but this becomes zero. Automatically, you don't get anything. That means it's a low pass filter. Okay, high frequency you're getting zero. So and low and low frequency will happen. If you apply low frequency, this becomes open circuit. Okay, so this voltage automatically will come here, and this voltage will get amplified. That means low frequency you are getting gain, high frequency you are getting zero. That is a low pass filter. Without checking, also without solving this one, you can you can identify. Okay. Now I want to see the variation with frequency. Okay. So my magnitude of A F will be equal to A naught. Just now I calculated one plus F upon F C square under root. Under root one plus f upon f c square. Now, if I want to write this, this is gain in the gain in decibel. Okay, in decibel, how can I write? I can take log of this one. Twenty log a naught. Okay, minus log of one plus under root one plus f upon f c square. This is the formula. Ah. So, 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 so log a base ten a ki ten 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 a. Now you say if it, you know a naught is what one plus r by r. So I say let us say this value that is power six. Okay, and I say my cutoff frequency is five hertz. Okay, one by one by one by omega or one, one by c r one. So I can define a c like this. Say this is five kilo. I can define such a way. So this comes out as five hertz. Okay, so just just for example, you assume okay, depend on the values, and we can set the values. That is with these values, okay. 
Now see, this is my value here. Now if I want to find a uh, gain in dB, okay, so at zero frequency, at f equal to zero, I want to find gain. So f equal to zero, tell me what, what become? Log one is zero, this put zero here, log one zero, you get exactly this one. Okay, so you get 20 log 10 and a value is 10 to power six. So this six will come here. So this is 120, we get 120 dB. Okay, you got 120 dB answer. Gain is at zero frequency, your gain is 120 dB. Now this will keep on decreasing if you increase the frequency. Now if I say, what happens if I my F is equal to FC, then my gain at F equal to FC, that is five hertz. Okay. This is five hertz, okay. Now I'm putting F equal to FC, five hertz. So this will cancel out. This will remain same. This is 120 minus five by five one, okay. What will come? Log, log 10 root log and root 2. And this value is almost 3. Okay. So this comes out 117 dB. Okay. So that means you can define one more definition of cutoff frequency. So add cutoff frequency. Add cutoff frequency. Okay. Decrease in gain. Decrease in gain is minus 3 dB. Okay, so cutoff frequency also called minus 3 dB frequency. Okay, so minus 3 dB frequency at frequency where the loss is 3 dB is minus 3 dB frequency is also called cutoff frequency. So we started 120, cutoff frequency this become 117. Now, now I'll increase the frequency in the multiple of 10. Now say my frequency is earlier at 5, now I'll take 50 hertz. What will happen? Again, A at 50 hertz. This is fixed 120 minus, if I take this is 50, 5, 50 divided by 5, 10, 100. I will negate this 100. So 10 will come. Log 10. Log 10 is what? Sorry. If I take this one, uh, uh, 50, 10. 100 will come. Right? 10. Log 10 is what? Log 10 or 100. Tell me what will come. 20 log 10. We are, we are, doing, we are missing formula here. 20. Okay, 20 also there. That's why we are missing. Okay. okay. So this, this whole is 3 dB, this whole is 3 dB, okay. Now here are 20 log 10 and this is 10, okay, so this is 1, so you get 100 dB. That means minus, D, minus 20 dB loss, okay, decrease at here. Now if you take the equals, huh? Three log. हमने एक्स की वैल्यू 50 50 पुट पुट की है ना 50 पुट की है ना एक्स की 5 है ना ये 5 है हां 10 बज गया 5 11 10 बज गया 100 हो गया ना ठीक है 10 बन का तो एक स्टाइल ले लो ठीक है 1 को रेड कर दिया ना तो फिर अंडर पुट गया 10 बज गया हम्म हम्म ओके नाउ अगेन इफ यू टेक 500 दिस फैक्टर रिमेंस 20 एंड दिस लॉग 20 लॉग 10 इफ यू टेक 100 500 दिस इज 100 दैट इज 100 and 100 into power 2, 10 to the power 4, I'll take another again, you'll get 10 to the power 2 here. So this is 120 minus 2 will come here, 40, this log 10 is 1. So again, you decrease by, uh, you become 80 dB, 80 dB. That is, again, loss of total 40 dB loss. Okay. Now you keep on increasing like this. Now if I take, say, 5000, F equal to 5000 hertz. Again, this will be 120 and minus 20 log 10 to the power 3 will come here. And this loss become 120 minus 60, that is 60 dB. And the loss will be minus 60 dB. Okay. 
Similarly, if you increase one more time A at frequency 5000 Hertz, 50,000 Hertz. Okay, this will come 120, this now will become 480. So you will remain with the 80 dB. Okay, so loss become how much? Tell me, we started with 40. So loss become minus 80 dB. So by 20 dB, the loss will keep on decreasing. Now you say, if you say frequency is 5 megahertz, 5 to 10 to the power 6. Then what will happen? Tell me. Then 0 dB. 0 dB. 120 minus 120, 0 dB. So this is the, as you increase the frequency, your gain keep on decreasing. Okay. That means if you plot now this graph, okay, A in dB versus log of frequency, okay. So initially your graph, your weight here, you have 120 dB, okay. Then it slightly decreases here up to here and then it keep on going like this, okay. So this frequency, this cutoff frequency, okay. Where you have a 3 dB loss. Okay. And after that, there is a 20 dB loss per decade increase in frequency. Okay. Decade means 10 times of cutoff frequency. So this is the straight slope, decreasing slope. And this is called fast order circuit. Whenever there will be fast order circuit, you will have a decrease by a minus 20 per dB decade. If it is a second order, this decade will become minus 40. If a third order, third order means second order means you use two capacitors, two RC circuits, three capacitors means you use three, three RC, RC sections what we used. Okay, but that is not important because that much complicated will not come exam. So first order is uh, sufficient for us. In first order, we will see the different varieties. So this is called first order circuit because your loss is minus 40 dB per decade. Now gain is also gain is function of frequency. Similarly, your phase is also changing. Gain phase also because the complex number which is a magnitude as well as the phase. Phase also varying. Okay. So let us see now phase. So my gain is what? My gain is a function of frequency is equal to a naught and you know a naught value here 1 plus r by rf rf by r okay and you remember this is my high frequency low pass filter high frequency so this, this is the formula okay and here j also there here j is there 1 plus j f upon fc this is my formula okay and this is the complex quantity okay but this also is a phase is the phase kitna hoga batao what is the phase of this number tell me sir kya samjha nahi phase phase kya hai complex number hai na ha phase so phase kya hoga multiply by pi by 4 nikli ye pi by 4 ka samjha multiply by j by fc 1 minus j f by fc Okay, you directly write also, but I am for you, I am doing this one. Okay, okay sir, yes, sir. So, this is only a school stuff A naught 1 minus J F upon F C. Okay, this will become what? 1 plus F upon F C square. Now, this is a complex number, and you can write this phase. So, this is this you can write as a real part A naught upon 1 plus F upon F C square minus J f upon fc okay 1 plus f upon fc square so this is the real part j equal to x plus iota y okay x plus iota y this is the and the phase of this number is what pi is equal to 10 inverse y by x this is y this is minus minus also here minus this quantity divided by this quantity a naught also there. So you get only F by Fc. So this is the formula for phase. And this is also function of frequency. Okay. 
So if I say my F is zero, okay? So F is equal to zero, what will become, tell me, what is the frequency? What is the frequency, tell me, at F equal to zero? So at F equal to zero, the time inverse zero is zero, so you have a phase. I am putting plotting phase versus frequency is zero. Okay. And 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 this and if you put infinite minus infinite minus 90. So that means if you keep on increasing like this, okay, it, it will approach go to the minus 20. You can keep on you can keep, keep on putting the values. Okay. For example, if I say this is my five equals to minus. This is equal to 10 inverse f upon fc. Okay, My 10 inverse minus is minus 10 inverse minus, minus 10 inverse. So you have to, if you put f equal to fc, okay, then what become pi become what minus 10 inverse one that is minus 40 pi by four. So at f equal to fc, your phase will be pi by four. F equal to fc zero your zero. And minus infinity you have minus 90. So you can uh, plot a graph like this. You can put other values also, just for a second. So that's the point is frequency or uh, phase is also changing with that frequency. Okay. Now then let's let me check the next topic. What is So, so far, what we have done, we have done this low pass filter using non inverting configuration. The same you can do with inverting configuration also. Okay. So, we have done for non inverting configuration. Now, let us say we do with inverting configuration. There is a slight change in the circuit. This again, this was inverting or uh, non inverting, now it's inverting mode. Now, to do inverting mode, that means you have to put this is the ground minus. If I say this is my R and I can put a here a R1 here, and I put here. A C here, and if I connect like this, V naught, and if I apply a frequency here, so at high frequency, what will happen? At high frequency, this becomes short. Okay, this becomes short, so this zero will come to um, this connected to like zero, so high frequency is zero, low frequency, this will cut off, you get gain. Okay, so this is the high pass filter. So let us do the calculation. A good calculation. What we did earlier. Same way. Solve this one. Okay. And I take. Because my take one, this will happen all the time. This is all same thing again and again. So you are applying V input here, and you are mainly V output here. Okay. Now I want to write. V naught. So how can I write V naught? Tell me. So this is a non-inverting configuration. So my V naught will be what? Minus minus. Tell me what formula is inverting me. Formula kya? V naught equals to minus minus. Here is R F upon R. But here is not R F. Here is a combination. So you say this combination is equal to ZF. So minus ZF upon R into V input is the formula. Now what is ZF? ZF is R1 is parallel to 
1 upon j omega c. So this is R1 into 1 j omega c, R1 plus 1 j omega c. So this is take it common. So this will be R1 1 plus j omega c r the j was j by cancel and here you have r1 so this is your zf you can put here so now you can write my b naught will be equal to minus r1 1 plus j omega c r1 and r also there okay and b input also there Now this B naught by B input is the game, okay? And this R1 and this is R, okay? So you can write R1, R2 also, but this is okay. R1 minus R1 by R, this is my, and this is bottom is your one plus J omega C R1, this R1, okay? And this you can write, minus R1 by R 1 plus J omega, this is omega and this is omega C. Exactly the same expression for low pass filter. Low pass filter omega will be up. So it goes down. So minus R1 by R and this is 1 plus J F upon FC. This is your gain. This is function. And this is again low pass filter. Low pass filter. Okay. At F equal to zero, you are getting F equal to zero, you're getting minus R1 by R. I call it A0. And F equal to infinite, you're getting gain zero. Okay. A at f infinite, you're getting zero. So this is again a omega is a naught one plus j f upon f c, and the phase again same will come ten inverse f upon f c. So this was low pass filter. Now we'll do high pass filter. Can I read this one? Yes, sir. Now we'll do high pass filter. In non inverting mode and inverting mode. Right? Sir, so, ah. so, 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 Now, high pass filter in non inverting configuration. You can put minus here, you can put R here, you can put RF here, V naught, you put plus here. Now, this time I put C, C here, I put the R down. And I'm putting V input here. Okay, with respect to ground. This is C. Again, the same calculation you have to do. Okay, put this different, different. Okay, you can put same output and become, but you remember what you are putting. 
Again, the solve this one. Tell me what is the expression coming? How it is different? So now, so what we can do? You can write uh, v naught. Okay. So in what things we have to find first B plus. So your V naught is basically 1 plus R upon R into V plus and V plus you have to find out. V plus is your V input, total is total impedance 1 by J omega C plus R1 into R1. Now you can check here. If I apply low frequency, this will become open, so no voltage will come here, so the output will become zero. This is not low pass filter. You apply high frequency, this becomes short circuit, and this full voltage will come here, and you, you get a gain. Okay, so this is the high pass filter. So V plus will become now, V plus you can write V1, R1. Either you can write like this also, or you can put here J omega C. V input J omega C R1 and this is what 1 plus J omega C R1. Now put the value here. So your V naught will come 1 plus R upon R V input J omega C R1. 1 plus J omega C R1. Okay. Then gain formula will be V naught by V input 1 plus. So I'm giving time for this topic because this is very really important for exam. Okay. Right, like this also. Okay, R1 upon 1 upon J omega C plus R1. Okay, we're going to divide by R1 also. So this will come 1 plus RF upon R. Okay, 1 plus the same R is coming to R1, same R is coming 1 plus J omega C R1. Like that, also you can write. And this you can write 1 plus RF upon R. And this you can write 1 plus, you can write multiply by J. So this becomes minus, minus J. And 1 by C R1, you can write cutoff frequency. Now cutoff frequency comes up and this comes down. This is opposite what we're doing so far. And now your A. Function of frequency for high pass filter will come RF upon R 1 minus J is FC upon F. So this is this is the explanation for high pass filter. So, your gain again become okay, 1 plus RF by R under root 1 plus FC upon F by square F at F equal to FC. You can Okay, first, first check it zero. If it's f equal to zero, okay, it's infinite. What will become? Tell me. If I put f equal to zero, so if I put f equal to zero, my a omega will become zero because it's zero infinite zero. 
if I put f equal to infinite, okay, my a omega will become this part zero one plus r f upon r, okay, and this again I can write a zero and can write a point also, okay. So this is a. This stuff will become a infinite, okay, one plus f upon f c square under root is the formula for gain and f equal to f f equal to f c this become gain become at f equal to f c a infinite by root two again what is the high pass filter phase this time what is the phase tell me what is the phase method Positive or negative? Now here already log in negative phase. You want to find the phase. So my a, this is a infinite one minus j f c by f. You multiply by one plus j f c by f and one plus j f c by f. And tell me what is the phase? Calculate and tell me the phase. I am not solving this one. So the minus of pop. Plus, tell me. So plus x by f i r. Okay. No. How much? Ten phi equal to f c by f. F c. Plus positive, na? Right? A positive value. Ten inverse f c by f. Now you can do the inverting mode also. First, the hyper filter inverting mode. For that only you have to put that in the series. Yes. Now inverting minus plus is you can be ground. You put a resistance R1 here, you see here, and you put RF here, V0 here, you put V input here. Okay. Tell me the expression. Expression of gate. Calculate it, tell me. I have it five minutes. Okay. Gain expression and frequency you tell me. Let's just see. So this time again inverting. So inverting may inverting may inverting is what a omega is v naught upon v input minus R F upon this is now ZI. Okay, series. So ZI will be your R plus one upon J R one R one J omega C. That's it only. So minus R F upon ZI is R one. One upon J omega C. Okay. So this is my it become R up. You can take R one common. So this become one upon one plus J omega C R one. And this is again this again formula. This can be written minus R up upon R one. One plus you put minus here j and this is omega c upon omega. Same formula is coming. So a omega is equal to minus r f upon r1 or minus j f c upon f. Only this factor changing, inverting and unverting, that kind of things are changing. The denominator is same. Is that clear? Uh, tell me. Filters may 
हमारे फ्रिज नेगेटिव आता है मतलब ये फिजिकली रिप्रेजेंट क्या करता है आउटपुट नेगेटिव आता है ना इनपुट आउटपुट पे डिफरेंस बिटवीन इनपुट एंड आउटपुट बट यू टेक वैल्यू ओनली पॉजिटिव मैग्नीट्यूड यस दिस वेरी सिंपल किसी पे किसी पे प्रॉब्लम आती है ओके आई विल डू वन और टू प्रॉब्लम्स and now you you can also do very easily if you understand this one you can also do problems very nice, easily okay so is the point is clear shall i shall i move further clear sir clear sir panika nishan ujwal yes sir yes okay. sir Now let us see. I am putting B input here. This is one microfarad. Okay. See, this is the resistance here. One kilo. Here you have. This is. One kilo here, and here you have again one kilo. Okay, tell me, is a high pass filter or low pass filter? Just just by looking, you said tell me, is a high pass filter or low pass filter? Just now you're done. Hi. Hi. Okay, and non-inverting because if you put high, this becomes short. This voltage is coming here. If you put zero because of DC frequency, this is cut off. This is open, and no voltage is coming. You got no output. This high pass filter. Okay, now in the question, what they are asking? They are asking identify the filter and what is the maximum gain of this filter. Find the maximum gain cut off frequency. Okay, find the maximum gain and the cut off frequency of the filter. Calculate maximum gain. And frequency. Maximum gain will be at infinite frequency. And you have to find the cutoff frequency for this question. Formula you can directly write, or you can write here my V naught by V input will be what? V plus here V plus will be what? V plus will be your what? V plus value is what? Tell me. So V plus is your. This is one microfarad. V input upon one upon J omega C. J omega and frequency is given. Say let us say hundred radians per second. So the gain depends on frequency. So say hundred radians per second frequency. So omega is hundred. Okay. This is one microfarad. That is ten to the power minus six. One by J omega C, and R is one kilo ohm, and I am taking the voltage at the kilo ohm. That is ten, ten power three. Okay, so my V naught is now so inverting. So one plus one plus R n by R one. So one by one into V plus V plus is this one, V plus is this one, V input into ten to the power three upon J. Into hundred into ten to the power minus six. Okay, and this you can solve. This become two, and this this the gain become okay two. The input is going there two ten to the power three. Okay, correct, man? Right? Yeah. And how much it come this one? Tell me how much it come this one. सॉल्व करो बताओ कितना है तो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस वन दिस विल कम 10 टू द पावर 2 एंड माइनस 6 माइनस 4 प्लस 4 सो दिस प्लस ऑफ प्लस 4 प्लस 10 टू द पावर j आल्सो j इज आल्सो देयर j 
10 to power plus 10 to power 3. Okay. Check it without doing wrong work. It's a mistake I'm doing. Am I doing some mistake? The expression I'm getting here. I just mm -hmm. one, one 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 one. See is how much one micro parad. So if I solve this one, J over omega omega also. And I put him omega value also here. Okay. So if I put omega value also here, tell me what is coming. Solve tell me what is coming. So this is coming like this. Two. This is cancels one plus j ten. No, it's not coming. It's not correct. Let me check it again. One minute. One minute. Two one minus ten j are. Huh? J upper jai minus ho jayega. Okay. So this is v not will be your one plus uh, one plus one kilo. This is one kilo. Uh, one yeah, one plus r by r. Okay. So one kilo. Divide by one kilo ohm into V plus and V plus you can check here. So V plus, so you put, don't, don't put the frequency here. Okay, let's like just keep it like V input. Okay, you have here one upon J omega C. Okay, let me like this. And this is into R. R is your R we put here. Okay, now you have V input will go here. Okay, you have R plus. R here, so you have R upon one upon J omega C R. Okay, now you multiply by J here. So now if I divide by this one, this will give me two R dividing here. So this will give me J omega C R plus one. Uh, now it's correct. This two and this give me one minus J omega C R. This form you have to bring na? always. I must return and this is minus j j omega c r okay r is one kilo you have to remember okay you are calling this r so this will come out <coughs> out how much j omega c omega c upon omega this format and omega c is your one by c r and this is your 10 raised to power minus 6 into r is 10 to power 3. So cutoff frequency is 1000 hertz. Be correct. Cutoff frequency is 1000 hertz. Okay. And gain, maximum gain, a omega is 2, 1 minus j omega upon omega c, or omega c by omega. So gain will be at infinite. Okay. Gain will be 2. It will be infinite. Or your formula, you take magnitude. Magneto omega. Magneto omega is 2 under root 1 plus omega c upon omega square. You don't need to put omega value also. You don't want to click put here. Here you can put if you want to find here. Uh, here also we don't require omega value. Huh? So we don't require actually. This is 2. And the maximum gain will be if I put infinite here a infinite it will be two only. So this is the so question is what you find you have to find this is the high pass filter number one. This is the high pass filter. Cutoff frequency is omega c is your hundred hertz, thousand hertz. Sometimes they ask you fc. So fc will be what? Fc will be what? Tell me. Divided by two pi. 1000 divided by 2 pi, tell me how much will come. It is calculation. 159.15. Huh? Huh? 159.15. I am putting approximately 159 hertz, okay? So you should understand this calculation is easy, okay? Now, at the gain, maximum gain is 2. Maximum 
gain is two because they non inverting contribution so gain also coming positive and value you took also coming so positive thing. Okay. So it's a frequency you not required here. Because I asked only cutoff frequency. Okay, I want a cutoff frequency. I want um, gain and I want with this hyper low pass for that you don't require frequency. If you want to calculate gain at a particular frequency, then you require that frequency where you want to get the gain. Okay, so this question is not required. So this is a nice question. This also came in exam. See, this five microfarad, two kilo ohm. So this R bar minus plus. This is grounded. This is your four kilo ohm. V naught. Okay. Now in the question, we're asking. Find the phase difference. Find the phase difference between input and output. Okay. Find the phase difference between input and output and output at omega equal to hundred radian per second. At this, what is the phase difference? Basically, you are asking phase difference, and again, this you can check. This is the filter of what? High pass filter. And the gain formula, tell me what is the gain formula? What is the gain formula for high pass filter? Inverting mode. What is the formula? Tell me. Just now you calculated. If you don't remember the formula, you can do it minus RF upon Jedi. RF is your 4 kilo. Okay, you have to find the Jedi. Jedi is how much? R1, 2 kilo plus 1 upon J omega C. J omega is your 100. And C is going to pi microfarad. Okay. This is minus 4 10 to the power 3. This is 2 into 10 to the power 3 plus I multiply by J. So then J. And this is 10 to the power 4. Okay. This is 2, 4. 4 will go up. 2 into 10 to the power 3 again. Okay. So, so this is two part ratio. You can take common. Okay, so you get only two upon one minus j. Okay, this is my gain. Check it. It's coming or not? Right, coming. You also please check. Palak, Shika, Kitna, right? So, you are writing, you are just you are writing. Is it correct? That value or not? Nisha? Okay. Inverting configuration formula, V not formula is what? Minus RF upon R1. Minus RF upon R1 into V input is gain. So this is RF into 4 kilo ohm. Okay. 
R1 value 2 kilo ohm, 1 by J omega C, I written like this. This is 10 to the power minus 10 to the power minus 4, 10 to the power 4 equal to over here. I divide by 40. Right. Okay. Yes, correct. Right. Okay. Yes, correct. Right. Yes, correct. Right. Yes, correct. Right. Yes, correct. Right. I multiply this by J and this is correct. Right. So this is a formula. So you have you don't want to find the frequency. So this is my a uh, phase. Okay, phase will be how much a phase. So frequency we have already put one minus j. So multiply by one plus j, one plus j. So give minus two, one plus j. This how much you give? Tell me. This one plus. Uh, if you multiply, how much you give? Two or one? Uh, root two. How much you give? Number so this one plus one minus two one plus j upon two is that coming? This will yes, sir. Same is coming. So minus one minus j. Okay, this yes. coming. Now you have to find the phase. This is my complex number. Now draw the complex number. Tell me what is the phase. So this complex number will come where? This complex number will come here. This is your complex plane. X, Y. So your X is also negative. Y also negative. So this will come here, somewhere here. Okay. Now you can measure the angle like this and like, like you can also measure the angle like this. Okay. Both answers will be correct. Generally, in complex, whenever you write an argument of a complex number, you try to write in between minus pi to pi. Okay. So whenever, so if you if I do like this, it becomes greater than pi. It becomes less, less than pi. But you can write both both the way. Okay. So this will be minus. This will be positive. Now you want to find pi. Pi will be what? Ten inverse y by x. Okay. So this is one minus one minus one y by x. Okay, j j y y is one. This is one. So this come pi by uh, how much? This come pi by four. Pi by four. So this is pi by four. But okay, you have to measure from here. This is pi by four. But you have to measure from this here. So this will be phase will be your pi minus. It will be minus pi minus this one. This will be the phase. Okay. So minus pi minus pi by 4. So this will come minus 3 pi by 4. Or you can if you imagine like this, my phase will come pi plus pi by 4. That is pi pi by 4. So both answers are correct. But generally we write this way because we try to keep the argument between less than 180. So if it is a more than 180, then you go like this. If it is a less than 180, then you can go like this. Okay. So both answers are right. So I'll stop here. I'll meet tomorrow. Sir, I'm J Fed most of you putting it. I will never need. Okay. I'll stop here. Thank you. Thank you, sir.